What's going on everyone? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today we're gonna to talk about custom suits for men, specifically a custom suit that I recently made at Suit Supply, our sponsor for today's video. Big shout out to them. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Suit Supply and I've been very much leaning towards more tailored and a bit more put together outfits recently. So I'm excited to walk you through, show you what I created and how to style that one suit eight different ways. The base idea being that we wanna create a suit to attend weddings with, but also how to get the most out of your suit, not just for different types of dress codes, but also beyond any wedding attire. How can you get the most out of your suit as separates or together? So without further ado, let's jump in and talk about what that custom suit shopping experience is like with Suit Supply. I personally had an idea of what I wanted to do before I even walked in there, but it's always amazing to walk into a Suit Supply. It's beautifully designed, the product is always looking amazing, and the people are so, so nice, helpful, and stylish. I think they're the, the most stylish employees that I've ever seen. So at the Soho Suit Supply store, I went upstairs to the custom suiting section, and I started by going through a myriad of fabrics that you can choose from when you make your own custom suit. They're divvied up by different fabric contents. I knew I wanted to go for a wool silk linen blend just because I have a couple of their suits in that fabrication and they're the perfect choice for the summer for me. And then it was really just about finding the right pattern because I knew I wanted to get something darker brown. I found this beautiful herringbone in a dark brown in the fabric I wanted and then you move on to actually figuring out how the suit is supposed to fit you. Now with Custom Mate, you start off with a piece that is closest to your size and then you are getting measured for those little details to make sure that both the pants and the suit jacket fit like a glove. That experience with Suit Supply specifically is always super fun. Like I said, having someone knowledgeable there to help guide you a little bit, even throughout the fabric selection, but then with the fit, what you want and how it should look, what you should adjust to make it look how you actually want. It's very easy when you have someone on their team by your side. And then it's about finding all the little details and trims that you can add to your suit. If you do this on the website with their custom suit builder, it's actually really fun to play around, so I suggest you do that if you are planning on getting a custom suit at Suit Supply. It gives you a good idea of where you might wanna go. But you can, for the suit jacket, set your details from the width of the lapel to how structured you want your shoulder to be. How many buttons do you want the closure to be? I went for a six button double breasted. How many pockets, what type of pockets, lapel holes, there's so much that you can choose. Same with the pant. Once you move on to the pant, you've got your choice of do you want belt loops or you want side pull tabs? Do you want a flat front, a single pleat, a double pleat? Do you want a cuff at the bottom? How long do you want them to be, of course? But there's a myriad of choices and once again, it's very helpful to have someone with a lot of experience by your side as they guide you through the process to create what you want in the best possible way. So once I created my suit, I had to wait a quick three weeks, went back into the store to then try it on to make sure everything was as perfect as it could be. The suit was magnificent. There was not a single eighth of an inch that we had to adjust anything, but I went back in any way to style it. And now we're gonna take a look at what those eight outfits ended up looking like. So here we've got the first look, and I wanna talk a little bit about what I ended up getting myself before we dive into the outfit. Now this suit is a beautiful double-breasted, like I mentioned, dark brown, herringbone, wool, silk, linen blend. We've got a heavily structured shoulder that's gonna make that look a little bit more regal. We've got a wider lapel, a peak lapel with a double-breasted six button. And then we've got those long flap pockets. For the pants, we've got a single pleat, the waist is a little bit higher, and we have a nice straight fit. So the suit overall really strikes that balance nicely between modern and a very classic look. It's not too relaxed, it's not too slim, and it's very, very versatile, as I hope you'll see in the video today. So the first look is ideal for your classic formal wedding dress code. If you wanna dive a little deeper with me into the dress codes, check out my last video that I did with Suit Supply actually, decoding a few of the most popular ones. But this fits the bill of formal attire perfectly. We've got a nice dark colored suit, we've got a white shirt, we've got a black knit tie and black loafers. A full suit shirt and tie is very much what you wanna go for for formal attire, and it's nice to go for a dark brown because it's not your expected black or charcoal or navy, it's a little bit more interesting, but because it's so dark, it's still subdued and you won't stand out too much. If the wedding dress code calls for cocktail attire, you might want to swap out the shirt and tie for a black silk shirt. Leave that collar open a few buttons and immediately it becomes a lot more casual, a lot more relaxed, 
and perfect for that cocktail attire dress code. Here, if you want, you can unbutton the jacket a little bit. I added in a black belt to pick up on the black shirt and the black loafers. Wearing black and brown is not something a lot of guys love to do. I've always enjoyed it. Now it's also this color combo that is trendy, that low contrast, darker combination. And I think here it really works. Obviously, bear in mind that if you're going to a daytime wedding that the really dark colors might not be the best choice. Although the fabrics here, the silk, as well as the wool silk linen blend, really work in your favor. If you're headed to a resort wedding or a destination wedding, you might even go a little bit more casual and add in a black brochet polo that can replace the black long sleeve silk shirt. Like I said, very similar vibe, just a little bit more casual still and obviously a lot more ventilation because you have that loose crochet knit that allows for a lot of air to pass through to your torso. So those are the first three looks with the complete suit. The next three looks are gonna feature a pair of white pants. These are the Mira Fit double pleated relaxed fit through the leg and I absolutely love these also a bit more higher waisted now if you wear that with the black silk shirt you still can absolutely wear that to a cocktail attire dress code it just is a little bit more playful with the contrast of the white and the brown and of course it's a little bit lighter which might actually be in your favor if you attend a daytime wedding so this is making it a little bit more daytime appropriate so the two last looks we saw with the full suit also work really well with that white contrast in the pant and the last if you don't love brown and black together as much as I do you you can of course opt for something like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, a white and blue striped shirt and add in a brown loafer instead of the black loafer. Here we have a blend between a moccasin and a loafer, a brand new shoe that Suit Supply introduced this season. Absolutely love the shoe. And that way you have a nice white, blue and brown combo that is definitely a little bit more on the traditional side, what you'd expect from a color combination. And again, a really nice option, maybe more for a smart casual dress code than a cocktail dress code. But like I said, if you want to dive deeper, you know where to go. That wraps up the wedding outfits. We've got two more and those both feature a pair of denim. You simply don't want to show up at a wedding in jeans, but these are a bit more high-waisted, a straight leg all the way through, tapered to about a quarter break, and a really nice choice with the dark brown double-breasted suit jacket. Whether you want to stick with the blue and brown theme, like we did in the last look with the white pants, this works beautifully. We've got a brown suede belt now to pick up on the brown suede loafers. Then we've got the darker jeans and again that striped blue shirt. And for the last look, we're working back in those black details with the black crochet polo, a black belt here, and then the black loafers with the denim, which is still something that works really, really well. One thing that allows for that is the choice of buttons that I made that is very dark and has black elements in there as well. So the suit jacket itself is already asking for a little bit of black to balance that out really well. So that is my perfect summer slash wedding event suit that I made for myself and eight ways to wear it with different suit supply pieces. Obviously, there's so many more ways that we can explore this suit. We haven't even looked at what the suit pants alone could look like with different styling options, but I just wanted you to see that you have an infinite amount of possibilities if you opt for something like my custom-made brown suit. For one, because it fits me like a glove. Two, that brown goes well with black, it goes well with the blue, it obviously goes well with white, and if you're an earth tone lover like me, it goes with a myriad of different earth tones as well, from cream to tan to khaki. So you can really have a nice standout, yet subdued and versatile piece in your closet. I hope this helped you and I hope you got some inspiration. I do encourage you to play around with the Sit Supply custom suit builder on the website. It's just fun to do and it does give you a bunch of ideas as well on how you can possibly style it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Make sure to check out Suit Supply down below. I have the link to the website and uh, if you want to go into a store, tell them Marcel sent you. I say hi. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments, thoughts, questions down below in the comment section and I will see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye all.